what's up youtube make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that uh like button make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get these videos when they drop and make sure that you share this video so everybody can see now check it out i see slim 400 is right back at it after being shot nine times i'm not talking about even back at the crazy shit or some foolish shit i'm talking about you know He's been in the studio laying down tracks, doing new music, doing interviews with everybody, and most of all, giving back to the homeless. You know, that's, that's a beautiful thing right there, too. And that's a lot to be thankful for, being that he could have lost his life, and he even said he thought he wasn't going to make it. You know, that's some spooky shit. That's some real spooky shit, laying up in a hospital bed, wondering, you know, just mainly after you didn't got shot that many times. And if you conscious, you don't know if you're going to live or die. Your peoples, your loved ones flashing through your head, that, that, you know, everybody flashing through your mind, that, that'll send you into a panic, you know. And did y'all see that pic of Slim's back? Man. They been, they been business. Whoever did this, they been business. You know, he went, he went from that to this, fam. You know, it's like, man, he's truly blessed to be alive. He explained in the, in the interview that while in the hospital, he was talking to God, saying, please get me out of here, bruh. You know, please get me out of here, bruh. And that he was going to change his life around and not be in the streets no more, thinking that he was Superman. And, and you know, I, I can relate to that. You know, that, that hot ass lead will make you change your mind about a whole lot of things in your life. And I can relate to everything he's been through because I've been there laid up in the hospital from being shot six times myself. Man. Slim was in there for 15 days, and just to be able to walk and move around again like nothing happened is a big blessing. It's a big, big blessing from our creator. You know, whoever did this wasn't playing no games at all. I don't believe that this was over gangs either. I heard from a reliable source of what may have brought, what may have brought on this shooting and who may allegedly be behind it and Whack 100's name was mentioned, and allegedly it was over Blueface. We all know that Whack 100 manages Blueface, and that's his artist, you know, and we know that Blueface ain't no killer. You know, he won't harm a fly. But anyway, it's all alleged, you know, and that's all I have on that for now, peoples. If I get more solid info, I'll definitely do a video on that. Now, I want to let y'all know that nowadays it's so easy for the media to dismiss shootings like this as being gang related so that most people would turn a blind eye and look down upon people involved in matters like these. Then it gets swept under the rug with no one believing or caring. That's why everything is made out to be, oh, this is gang related. Anything that happens in LA, Compton, Watts, anywhere around there, if it's a shooting, you know, a lot of times, most of the times it is gang related, but people people blame everything on the gangs just so they can get away with what they really doing. A lot of times this ain't gang related and it be other people behind this shit, you know? I truly hope that Slim and YG will leave the hood alone because it seems like they being fucked with. We don't need no fake wanna be Suge Nice or anybody else disrupting people's lives. We already witnessed what happens to our people when they remain in the hood or come back to the hood and hang out. Seen it too often with these rappers. Too many jealous hearted individuals whom secretly wanna see you fall when you rise to the top would knock you down. Yeah, they wanna see you fall. And they definitely they definitely do anything in their power to see you fall. There's nothing wrong with being successful and move into a nicer upscale neighborhood. I know I wouldn't want my kids or myself around Compton if I had the means to get away. Real talk, I would only come back, I would only come back to visit family 
and friends, and that's it. And I get on. I wouldn't be hanging out doing none of that shit. I wouldn't jeopardize my freedom or my life over no bullshit. You know, it doesn't indicate that you've forgotten to reach back and help your peoples because you can still help from a distance and reach back with a long extended arm. You know, the plans and goals are to become rich and successful enough to where you can be able to leave all the bullshit behind in the hood and bring your people up with you and not remain and let some jealous hater kill you because he or she wasn't able to do what you have accomplished. You see, these rappers had to start cleaning house and eliminating the snakes that's hanging around leeching off of them doing nothing productive. You know, you know, if you cut your grass low enough, the dirt will eventually start revealing itself. Leave no place for the snakes to hide waiting till the right time to strike. Fuck that. Fuck all that. You know, you can't you can't you can't do that, peoples. You know, you become successful. Leave. Leave. But anyways, I truly do hope. That Slim holds true to what he was saying in the interview for his sake because these streets is dangerous and real. And it ain't for play play. This shit is for real, for real. And besides remaining focused and staying besides remaining focused and staying on your purpose, you know, that's a, that's the whole key right there. And if you're a fan, go listen to his new music, High Off Trees. Go listen to that. Slim, slim, slim. He be gassing, so go listen to that. But anyway, it's a good thing. It's a blessing that he's able to walk around. You know, he's healthy. He's getting back to his music. And that's what we wanted to see anyway. That's what all the prayers was about anyway, you know, for him and YG, you know. Well, y'all already know what time it is. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you go hit that like button, hit that notification bell. And make sure you share this video. Peace.